What if your next computer didn't run Windows or Mac OS, but something entirely different? Something built not in the US or Europe, but in China. That's exactly what Huawei is betting on with Harmony OS, their bold attempt to create a unified operating system for phones, laptops, smart homes, and even cars. With geopolitical tensions at an all-time high and Huawei under US sanctions, the company claims it has developed a fully independent OS, one that could challenge American tech dominance. But is Harmony OS a real alternative or just a polished clone? Today, we uncover the truth. To understand whether Harmony OS can truly replace Windows or Mac OS, we first need to look at why it exists in the first place. Harmony OS wasn't born out of pure innovation or market demand. It was born out of necessity. In 2019, Huawei was placed on the U.S. entity list, effectively banning it from working with American companies, including Google and Microsoft. This meant Huawei could no longer legally use Google services on its smartphones or Windows on its laptops. In other words, the company suddenly lost access to the world's two dominant operating systems. So Huawei did what any tech giant backed by a massive domestic market and government support would do. It decided to build its own. In August 2019, Huawei officially announced Harmony OS, claiming it was a brand new microkernel-based operating system designed for a completely connected era. According to Huawei, Harmony OS wasn't just another Android clone. It was a flexible platform built to run on everything from smartphones and tablets to smart TVs wearables, IoT devices, and eventually, PCS. But let's separate the marketing from the truth. The first versions of Harmony OS, 1.0 and 2.0, were mainly deployed on smart TVs and watches. These early releases had heavy similarities to Android, with apps based on Huawei's own app gallery and HMS, Huawei mobile services, developed as a replacement for Google services. Things got more serious with Harmony OS 3 and Harmony OS Next, which Huawei is pitching as a truly independent non-Android OS. Harmony OS Next is described as Android-free and relies on apps written in Huawei's own development framework, called Arc. This is where the story gets interesting and where Huawei's real intentions become clear. Instead of trying to beat Windows or Mac OS in the traditional desktop market right away, Huawei is playing a longer, smarter game, building a cross-device ecosystem in emerging markets, especially China and Southeast Asia. While Windows and Mac OS are designed primarily for PCs, Harmony OS focuses on the internet of everything. Phones, smart home devices, smart cars, and now, possibly, PCs. In this vision, a Harmony OS laptop wouldn't just run apps. It could natively control your Huawei phone, manage smart home devices, unlock your electric car, and sync data between all devices instantly. Think Apple ecosystem, but expanded to every screen, device, and object around you. With Harmony OS Next confirmed to power Huawei's upcoming PCs and laptops starting in 2025, the battle for the future of computing has officially begun. And this time, Huawei isn't just trying to replace Windows. It's trying to change what an operating system is altogether, from a desktop tool to an ecosystem backbone. But is all this more ambitious than realistic? And can Harmony OS survive without Western apps, games, and business software? That's where things get complicated, as we'll explore in the next part. When it comes to the PC market, software matters more than hardware. You can have the fastest processor and the slickest chassis, but if your operating system can't run the applications people need for work, gaming, or content creation, it's already dead on arrival. So where does Harmony OS stand in this critical area? In early demos, Harmony OS Next on Huawei laptops looks sleek and modern. The UI borrows visual elements from both Mac OS and Windows, offering a clean design with rounded corners, centered taskbars, and fluid animations. Huawei claims the system is built for speed and stability, thanks to a micro-kernel architecture that's designed to reduce latency across devices. But here's the catch. App compatibility. Unlike Windows, Harmony OS can't run traditional .exe programs. 
And unlike macOS, it can't run its own equivalent of .dmg files built on decades of developer support. Instead, Harmony OS uses Huawei's own app ecosystem, which currently relies on App Gallery, a store primarily focused on mobile and tablet apps. So what about desktop apps like Photoshop, Excel, Steam, or professional code editors? As of now, they simply don't exist natively on Harmony OS. Huawei is pushing its ARC compiler to help migrate apps, but convincing global developers to port their software to a China-specific OS is a long uphill battle. Even with support from Chinese tech giants like Tencent and ByteDance, Harmony OS risks falling into the same trap as Linux desktop distros, tons of potential, minimal adoption outside niche circles. And while Huawei does support web-based apps and progressive web apps, PWAs, power users in the West won't ditch Windows or Mac OS until they can run native professional-grade desktop software. If you're exploring alternative operating systems or looking to protect your privacy across borders, now is the time. With NordVPN, you can browse securely on any OS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or even Harmony OS in the future. Use my link below for a 77% discount and 4 extra months free. Stay safe online no matter where tech takes you. When talking about an operating system built by a company at the center of global tech tensions, the word that instantly comes to mind is trust. And this isn't just a buzzword, it's the single biggest factor that will decide whether Harmony OS can go global or remain locked within China's borders. Let's start with the facts. Huawei is not just a tech company. It's a symbol of China's technological rise and digital sovereignty. After the US banned Huawei from critical infrastructure, accusing it of espionage and backdoors, Harmony OS became much more than a software product. It became a strategic response. Huawei positioned it as an answer to Western digital dominance, especially in a world where Google and Microsoft control over 95% of the OS market outside China. But here's the paradox. While Harmony OS is built to give China independence from Western platforms, it needs global trust to succeed internationally. Huawei claims Harmony OS uses a microkernel architecture, which isolates core functions and theoretically strengthens security by reducing potential attack surfaces. Huawei also touts independent audits and certifications from international security groups, arguing that their OS is more transparent because it's based on Open Harmony, the open source version of the system. However, transparency only works if there's trust in the organization controlling the code. And that's where the big hurdle lies. Western governments and corporations remain skeptical, not necessarily of the technology, but of the government behind it. The fear isn't just that Harmony OS could track user behavior, but that it might eventually be used for digital leverage, especially in places like Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where Huawei already dominates the 5G infrastructure market. On the other hand, in China and some emerging markets, this trust argument works in Huawei's favor. Harmony OS is seen as a patriotic alternative to foreign systems, free from American influence, and building a unified future of connected devices, securely and locally. Huawei's strategy isn't to beat Windows and Mac OS in the West today, it's to become the default OS across the East tomorrow. And the truth is, with over 900 million Harmony OS-powered devices already shipped, most of them smartphones, Huawei already controls one of the largest operating systems in the world. The question now is, can it break into the PC space, or is that a dream destined to remain inside China? In part 4, we'll compare Harmony OS directly with Windows 11 and Mac OS, and see if it's truly a threat or just a regional experiment with global ambitions. Now that we understand Harmony OS's origins, app ecosystem, and privacy challenges, it's time to answer the real question. How does it actually stack up against Windows and Mac OS? Let's start with the basics, user experience. Harmony OS Next on laptops features a sleek, modern design with floating windows, dynamic widgets, and smooth animations, arguably closer to Mac OS in terms of visual style. Huawei puts big emphasis on cross-device collaboration. Drag a file from your phone to your laptop, control a tablet as a second screen, or connect a smartwatch effortlessly. In this sense, 
Harmony OS has already surpassed Windows in seamless ecosystem integration, the kind of synergy Apple users enjoy daily. But that's also where the comparisons begin to crumble. When it comes to software availability, Windows and Mac OS are still light years ahead. Need Adobe Creative Cloud? It's there. Want to run CAD or server-grade software? No problem. From AAA games to enterprise tools, these platforms are deeply embedded. Harmony OS, however, is starting from scratch, and it's trying to do so in a world where even Linux hasn't been able to break the monopoly. Then there's hardware compatibility. Windows supports almost every processor architecture from x86 to ARM, macOS, operates exclusively on Apple Silicon, but excels in performance and efficiency. Harmony OS Next will initially run only on Huawei's own Kirin-powered laptops, a major limitation for both developers and consumers. Let's talk markets. Windows and macOS dominate every sector. Education, business, creative industries, government agencies. Harmony OS has a foothold in smartphones and IoT devices, but it has virtually no presence in the global PC market outside China. Even with government support, mass adoption would require years of trust building, software development, and strategic partnerships that Harmony OS currently lacks. That said, there's a bigger picture. If China's government pushes Harmony OS across every state-owned enterprise and school system, and if Chinese developers eventually shift to Harmony OS native apps, we could witness the birth of a massive regional alternative to Windows. Not a replacement, but a parallel computing universe. In other words, Harmony OS may not dethrone Windows and Mac OS worldwide, but it could end their reign in the world's most populous market. In the final part, we wrap up what all this means for the future, and whether Harmony OS is a revolution in the making or just a regional replacement. So can Harmony OS truly replace Windows or Mac OS? In the short term, no, not globally. The lack of desktop apps, limited hardware compatibility, and deep-rooted distrust in Western markets mean Harmony OS isn't ready to take over the global PC ecosystem, yet. But that's not the end of the story. Huawei isn't trying to win today's operating system war. It's preparing for tomorrow's battlefield. While Windows and Mac OS fight over desktops and laptops, Harmony OS is quietly claiming the next generation frontier. Smartphones, IoT, smart cars, AR glasses, and connected homes. By the time Western operating systems realize it, Harmony OS may already control the world of ambient computing, everything beyond the traditional PC. So while it may not replace Windows or Mac OS, it could render them less relevant in a world where devices outnumber people. And that's how revolutions begin.